beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having an awesome day and today's video is going to be the 3 looks 1 palette using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Cremated Eyeshadow Palette. Today we're going to do 3 looks using this palette right here. It is a lot of grays, some cool toned browns, and a black. So today we're going to do 3 different looks for you. Maybe give you a little bit of inspiration if you're thinking about getting this palette or you already have it in your possession. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get to today's video. I do want to give a quick disclaimer. This is not a review of Jeffree Star as a person. I don't know how I feel about him as a person. This is just a little quick distraction from all the bad in the world. And let's tell you the quality of the palette and show you some looks. So now, let's get started with the first look. Alright, so let's get started. So I don't exactly know what I want to do for this first look. One of the shades is leaving like glitter everywhere. I don't know which one it is. <laughs> But let's go ahead and set underneath of my brow bone just to start off with. I'm just going to take a blending brush into the shade Burial Gown, which is this one. It's kind of like slightly yellowish, kind of creamy color. Uh, a lot came off on that one, but I'm just going to set under our brow bone. It'll make everything else down here easier to blend out. I know this is dumb and not like a big deal, but I really like that this folds down and I can lay it down on my desk. I really like that so I can like lay it down and work with it instead of like it not folding back all the way you know like a lot of Jeffree palettes are really big and bulky and awkward and it's kind of hard to like fold them back and make them compact like this so I enjoy this packaging I know it's a little more expensive when he does these big pan things but I do like this better than his big bulky packaging like this one and the Jawbreaker packaging are really nice and I also like his original palettes too the $45 ones the Beauty Killer and Androgyny this nice small packaging I really enjoy those so it feels more professional too Let's start, all right, let's just do it. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with Eulogy. I'm just gonna go into this shade, which is kind of a brown. I'm just gonna put this over a crease to start off with. I did not tap off that excess. <laughs> and I'm just gonna blend this over a crease to get started. So a lot of kickback with this shade. And it's also not really blending how I want it. I did tap off the excess when I started this eye but it's still not really blending out where I wanted it to. This one also just not blended like I want, but not a good start to this video. The last first impressions video, everything went really, really smoothly. This one, um, this Eulogy shade is just not working for me very well. I'm gonna mix in a little bit of this Life Insurance shade right next to it, tap off the excess and just try to help blend this because it's not really doing it. Okay, so I've spent three minutes now trying to blend this properly and it's not really working for me and I'm kind of tired of dealing with that shade right now. <laughs> so we're going to move on. I'm now going to take this more dense brush and I'm going to pack in Inheritance, which is the greeny kind of color. <laughs> Let's see. Very minimal kickback in the pan. I'm going to tap off any excess and I'm going to start packing this in the inner and outer portion of the eye. Leave a little bit in the center and we're also going to meet it in the middle. So we're going to do kind of a halo with it. So everything except for the very center, we're going to pack it in. And then we'll blend it out. It doesn't really look too green. It has a hint of green to it, but it's not like as all of it looks in the pan so far. So I'm noticing that this shade Inheritance, which is the one I was like dying for because it's slightly greeny, looks green when you kind of pack it on. But the moment you kind of blend it, even in areas where I didn't have any other shades down, it kind of loses the green. When you pack it on, it looks green, but the second you kind of blend it, it kind of loses that slight green hue to it because it's not like super green. Um, but I am noticing that. But overall, the shadow looks good so far. Taking a baby bit of Casket Ready, tapping off the excess, and just helping blend between this shadow and the brow bone. We kind of covered up that shade we couldn't work with properly a minute ago, and I'm okay with that. All right, so I added a little bit of concealer. This one's crooked, but I added a little bit of concealer just... A little bit so we can get started. I have a little flat brush here. We're gonna try to do some shimmers now. Some shimmers. <laughs> okay, so for the oh, is this a shimmer too? Kind of looks like one, it's kind of subtle. Okay, so for the center here, I'm gonna use this little subtle one. This is called Afterlife. It's a little slightly peachy to it. So I'm gonna use that in the center, and then for the rest of the um lid area, I'm gonna go ahead and add in Mortuary Beautician which is this shade right here, and I also really like that name, for the outer portions. So, center's gonna be a little bit brighter. That's how this picks up on the brush. This appears to be a different, like a shimmer formula, and the rest of them look kind of metallic or matte. That's what that looks like. 
looks pretty good. It's a little subtle, but it's a cute color. It kind of loses the peachiness on the eyes, I think. Even over a concealer, it just kind of looks like a like a slightly off-white. It kind of lo just loses the true shade in the pan. I'm also adding this right over our halo. And it looks a mess now, but I will blend it all together with our mattes in a moment. This shade is a uh, very, very soft, so it kind of picks up very sporadically on the brush, and you're going to get fallout with this shade for sure. Unless maybe you pack it on with your finger over something like really, really wet. But I, it's one of those really, really soft things. We were going to have some fallout into the eye. You can just kind of brush it away. Hopefully it won't leave a mark when I do that though. I'm going to go back into our shade Inheritance, which is that green. We kind of lost the green. And I'm just going to help blend our shimmers into our crease and everything. Just mush it all together. I know some people dislike when I do everything and like mush it together, but it makes everything look more cohesive to me. You know? Okay, so our top lid is done. It's looking decent. I think this one looks a little better, but let's move on. I have a huge shader brush here. It's really chunky. This is the Sigma E59. It's kind of going to diffuse everything for us. Ooh, is this one of those shimmery shades too? It has glitter in it. I don't know if this is a shimmer or not. This embalmed one? It feels really silky. We could have used that. Hmm. Okay. We're going to use this Goodbye Silver. Okay, you know what? There's too many colors, but we're moving on. So for the lower lash line, I'm going to buff in some of this Solemnly Swear shade, which is kind of like a darker gray. I'm going to tap off our excess. There's not that much kickback in the pan with that shade. And I'm just going to buff it under lower lash line. Nothing crazy. This is not an ideal time for me to be doing a million makeup tutorials in one day because I had a mole right here this morning. I thought there was something on my face, so I kind of scraped it and I scraped off a mole. So this little corner is looking weird <laughs> and it kind of hurts. But this is the eyeshadow. I'm going to pop on some mascara lashes, finish up my face. I'll be right back to show you the finished look. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. I know most people wouldn't do a bold lip with such a huge eye moment. But I did anyways because I really wanted this green color on my face today that the eyeshadow didn't really do like I expected it to. So this is our eye look up close. It's really pretty. It's really pretty. I do think um, I kind of lost a little bit of the halo effect going on. But I still think it's a really cute silvery eye moment. We only had one shade that was not working for me at all. But everything else was pretty good except we did lose some of the green in that greeny shade. So that's a little disappointing. But... Most of the shadows were a good time and I added a little bit of glitter too. So this is this look. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, let's get started with this look. So the first thing we're going to do is going to start off with Death Blow, which is the matte white shade. I want something very bright for this one. So I'm going to take that and I'm just going to set everywhere. Except for the lid. I'm going to leave the lid alone. But I'm doing more than just under the brow. Usually I just set under my brow. I'm going to set the brow in the crease this time. All right, so this is our shade over the crease. It looks pretty good. It's very subtle, but you can definitely tell it's there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a little baby bit of life insurance, which is another matte gray. It's a very gray palette. Tap off our excess and just deepen our crease a little bit. Then we'll get started with some other stuff. I'm also going to add a little, let's do a baby bit of rip, just a tiny tap of it. Now I'm adding some Cut Crease Canvas by Makeup Revolution on a different brush. I don't like the applicator. And I'm just going to carve out some space on our lid. It all faded out to the outer corner. We don't really need the outer corner cut. Okay, so I cut it out. They're not very good, but it'll be fine. Um, and I'm not going to leave my head back because it'll crease. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the shade Diamond Ashes. Transition it to the middle, which is going to be a goodbye, which is this really, really pretty silver, which looks kind of like a regular shimmer, not a metallic. And then for this outer corner, I'm going to tap in a little baby bit of Paul Bearer, just to darken up the very outer corner. Okay, so Paul Bearer is not really sticking very well. I don't know if we can see it. It's kind of stuck right here. I think you need a glitter glue with this shade. So I'm going to switch it and not use that one. And I'm just going to take a... I guess I'll take a baby bit of mausoleum. It's a brown, probably not fitting for this look, but I want to touch it, so we're going to. Okay, so our top of our lid is done. I'm going to use a little bit of eyeliner when I'm done with the bottom and kind of cut it out a little bit, I think, but the top looks good so far. So I'm going to do for the bottom is I'm going to take 
Let's take Embalmed again with Wednesday mixed in and do our lower lash line. All right, so this is our eyeshadow look. Let's pop on some mascara lashes. I'll be right back and show you the finished face. All right, guys, so it's the second look completed. What do we think? It's very silvery. It's very sparkly. I think it's really cute. I added a little bit of glitter in the inner corner and in the little crease there, but I think overall it's a nice look. So what do we think about the second one? I like it because it's nice and fun and bright. I do like the other one we did, but it's really, really dark. So I feel like it's a nice change from the first look. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, so look number three. My eyelids are primed. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to set underneath my brow bone um, just to get started. And I'm going to start off with these two shades. Again, we'll mix them and put them under the brow bone area. All right, so next up, I'm going to dip into Last Respects mixed with Obituary. Oh, you can even see that. It's this shade mixed with this one. And this is going over our crease. Because I haven't used the Obituary shade yet, and I really want to. So this is our crease going on right now, nice and gray. And I'm going to start off with the shade Grave Digger to start deepening up which is just a dark matte gray. I'm gonna tap off any excess, I haven't used this shade yet, and I'm gonna start deepening up everything. It's not really that dark. I'm gonna not tap off the excess this time. This shade isn't the most pigmented. It does take a little bit of building up, but I'm not gonna complain about that. I'm just telling you, because I feel like when it's such a dark shade like this, if it takes a little building up and not like too much effort, at least, you don't ruin your look by just tapping into it. Like some blacks that are like pitch, pitch black can ruin the look so easily. So I'm kind of glad this one is like a little more subtle, but you can definitely get that dark color out of it. All right, so this is our nice creasy thing going on. I think it looks really nice so far. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of Hearst, which is the matte black. I'll tap off the excess on that one and I'm gonna do the very outer corner. Even though I tap off the excess, it's just still quite black. See, if I was one of those people who did their face second, I could like take a makeup wipe and just clean this and make it really sharp looking, but I'm not one of those people because that doesn't make sense. Like unless you're doing like something really dark on your eyes, your face makes sense to do first because then you're not working around stuff, you know? Like if you do your face second, then you're working around your eyebrows, you're working around your eyeshadow. All right. <laughs> There's my little rant about that and my personal choice. So I'm gonna do this now. I'm gonna do this now. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put a little bit of glitter glue on our lid because I wanna use some of the darker shades in here. We determined this shade right here works best with the glitter glue. So I'm gonna try it with a glitter glue today. <laughs> See, it wasn't until I put the glitter glue all over my lid that I thought maybe I should have carved out this first half to make it crispy. Oh well. You live and you learn, maybe next time. So I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna take a flat dry brush and I'm gonna do some shimmery shades. So one of the, what I wanna start out with, let's do Diamond Ashes. I've been using this shade a lot, but I really like it for inner. For the next color, I'm going to take Paul Bearer, which is this shade right here in the center. And then on the outer portion, we're gonna take Angel of Death, which is this black metallic. I mean, it's not, it's like a gray. It's, it's like a black gray, I don't know. Let's do that. And I use the Too Faced glitter glue for anyone who's wondering. So this Paul Bearer shade, it didn't really pick up. It picked up a little better on the brush, um, but it is working best with the finger. It's just one of those weird shades that you kind of have to feel, and it looks so much better with the finger. Applying it with the brush, even on top of glitter glue, just was a little inconsistent. Okay, this is our top shadow it's super super metallic this paul bearer shade again you kind of got to use your finger and a glitter glue it's a little more difficult to work with but once it's up there that is like the most metallic -y thing ever now i wouldn't put it somewhere where i have a ton of texture so straight on the center of the lid is best for that shade because it is super super foiled and it's going to show any texture so that's fine let's do the lower lash line now i just have a normal shader brush i'm going to dip into the shade solemnly swear which is this shade right here and just dust it under the lower lash line and i'll take a tiny baby bit of hearse the matte black for the outer portion 
Okay, so our top eyeshadow is done. I'm going to pop with some mascara lashes, finish up the space. I'll be right back and show you the finished look. Alright, guys. So this is look number three complete. What do we think? This is a little bit of a close-up. It looks really cute, right? I really like the Paul Bearer shade we have in the center of the lid. I think it's a beautiful, super, super foiled metallic shade. I think it's really nice. And then the lower lash line, I did, with my pinky, add some more of this icy white shade called diamond ashes as like to enhance my inner corner highlight and it looks really nice and then we have a silver eyeliner in the waterline to really make it pop and everything looks super super metallic and super cute i really love this look i think it's very nice so anyways you guys thank you so much for watching today's video let me just talk a little bit about like some of the best and worst things about the palette overall palette i would give a really i would give it an 8 out of 10 I give it a 7 out of 10. I give it an 8 out of 10 if it even said the name of the palette somewhere on it because it always oh, says it up here. Okay, it does say it. So it is an 8 out of 10. So some of my favorite shades in here are Diamond Ashes because I love an icy white shade. I also really enjoy the shade Embalmed, which is a very fair kind of just gray with some glitter in it. It's like a matte with some glitter in it. I really love this Paul Bearer shade, but it does take more to work with. The shade I did not like in here was Eulogy because it was really hard to blend. It kind of stuck. Didn't want to blend out. I wasn't really a fan of this shade at all, which is... Kind of, it's kind of sad because it's one of the nice middle tone kind of colors in this palette. I really enjoy the Death Blow shade for setting underneath my brow bone area. I thought a shade that was really, really pretty as well was this Angel of Death shade that we just used for this look because it is just a really pretty metallic-y shade. Overall, the shimmers in here are super, super stunning. This is the only one I think you have to use with a glitter glue specifically, but all the rest of them are really pretty. I do think this Goodbye shimmery shade is very subtle i do wish it was a little more popping but overall palette is great the only issue i had was really with this eulogy shade and the fact that this inheritance shade kind of lost its green when it went on the eye anyways you guys thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed it this is a super fun palette i think i'm gonna use a ton so thank you guys so much i hope you enjoyed it if you're not subscribed to my channel already i'd greatly appreciate it if you did that and i'll see you guys in the next video bye